Do you need some extra stools around the house? I did, and I ordered these from Amazon. In this video, I'll show you the unboxing, the organization, the assembly, and the testing of these stools. If you'll check in the text below this video and also in the comments, I'll provide links to both of these items. It helps me out a little bit if you use those links. Thank you very much. I'm 100% satisfied with these products. She's got legs. Together. Let's do the easy one first. Now that was easy to assemble, right? That's cool. It has the distressed wood look, which is fine because I don't want to have to worry about a, a solid finish getting scuffed up. It has the antique old white varnish on the side. Also, it's going to fit in with, I guess what you call my decor. These products are not factory made. They're traditionally handcrafted by local craftsmen and small businesses using Hand tools and locally managed legal wood. They'll have imperfection and evenness. That's going to be fine. Each one is unique and tells its own story. Oh, nice. I like that. It's, it looks exactly as I wanted it to. Let's see how it looks in the kitchen. I'm really getting this for my grandchildren to come over here so they can send this when we do cooking lessons and all. But I guess I can use it too. Let's see if I'll hold my weight. Exactly big enough for my feet. Perfect. I think it will live there until we need it. Nice and sturdy. Don't need that. Yes, the metal one is supposed to be where people are supposed to put their feet. No, we'll find out. And hardware. Let's organize this. 
I've organized all the pieces because it was a little confusing just unpacking it from the box. Doing it this way helps me to find the correct pieces. And also confusing, it tells you in the instructions that you will have one seat and two legs, but in reality, I ordered a set, and so the set came with two. So I actually had two seats, four legs, two C1s, two C2s, and so forth. Separating them like this is going to help me assemble them. So I have the C, A1, I have the, the B part, they're calling it B, and I'm just using the same words that they call it. I have two of the legs. There's a C1 footrest, which I have one of. It does not have the metal strip on it. There's a C2. I have one of those with the footrest. And when I say one, I mean to assemble one stool. I have D, what they're calling D, we have eight screws. E, we have one, what they're calling a hex key. F, we have five felt pads. G, we have eight, what they're calling wooden plugs. And then we have H, what they're calling wood plugs. I have four of those. So you can see they're a little different. This is what I should need to assemble one stool. This is the other part of the kit, exactly identical, but I don't have the papers marking them and indicating the number, but have the exact same pieces to assemble the second stool. Another thing that is unclear, on the first step, it tells you to attach the leg, one leg, to uh, the seat. But it doesn't tell you that one leg is going to have two holes on the inside. It's got two holes on this side. And it has one hole on the other side for each leg. This is going to be the outside of the stool. And this needs to be the inside of the stool. So when you put them together, make sure you put them together that way. Supposed to be able to use the hex tool and two screws to put this leg on here. Do you see the mistake I just made? After clearly telling you to put the two holes towards the inside, I failed to put it back up here correctly, so you watch me put this in, and then I'll have to undo it and redo it, because I did what I told you not to do. One of the reasons this did not want to line is because, as I said, I had the legs on the wrong way. It's not wanting to go exactly where it's supposed to. I don't think they drill these holes exactly right. I had to actually use this to push it in. This is not to tighten until you get everything the way you want it. Step one is finished. Step two, attach the footrest C1 and C2 to the leg. Secure the connection with two screws and two wood plugs. So I need two more screws and two of these. I need my C1 and my C2. And I feel just warned you not to do that. Look, I put the legs on inside out. Glad I didn't screw them in tightly. I'll check and take my own advice this time. One hole's on the outside. See if they're going better this way.
Yes, yes they do. What about that? I'm holding this still with my forehead. Holding the leg still with my forehead. Alright. Now let's see if we can put one of these in. So I'm going to put a wood plug in. I guess the wood plug... I need to find out where the screw goes. The screw goes in here. The screw goes in here. Now the screws are sticking out. So I know that the wood plugs go here. So the only way this one will go on is with the metal on the top part because the wood plug has to go into that part. I actually had to put on a pair of gloves because using this thing is really hurting my hand. I don't think they drill these holes deep enough. This one's just not wanting to go through. Okay, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't have very much strength in my hands, but I cannot use this tool to get this tight enough in here. It's supposed to be in here at an angle. And I just don't think these holes are drilled long enough for these screws. Because I've done, I've twisted as much as I can and it's supposed to be flush like that. But I'm going to keep trying. So we now have step two finished. We're supposed to go on and put the other leg on there and do the final part of the assembly. I need the remaining screws and the remaining plugs. So again, make sure you've got the holes like this. And since this is a little awkward, I'm going to try to put the plugs in first. In the hopes that it'll hold it still a little bit. Like they don't, they're supposed to be uh, pre drilled holes. My son taught me that yesterday. I don't think the holes are quite deep enough. He's coming over tomorrow, so I may have to get him to tighten these in. I finish the last two screws in. Now, it's all assembled, except those screws are not in tight enough, and I'm not going to put the felt pads or the, uh, the wooden plugs for the decoration part. I'm not going to put those on to cover the screws in because the screws are not tight enough for anyone to safely sit on this yet. So 
I'm going to keep working on it. There's probably a trick to using this tool. I don't know what it is. It really started digging into the palm of my right hand. I'm right handed when I was trying to twist this. So I put on the pair of gloves, or the pair of gloves on my right hand, as you see. Then I ended up getting the other glove and just wrapping it around the tool so I could get a little bit of leverage without getting the pain in the palm of my hand. I don't know, that worked for me. I finally got it where I don't see any wobbly, but it took, if I had not had my gloves to help me with this tool, I don't think I would have made it. So now I'm confident enough to put these in. And I guess they just press in. If they come out, I'll get a towel and put over them and hammer them in. So that's what it looks like finished. Finishing touches, applying the felt pads. finished. I bought the taller ones because I was planning on having my grandchildren to sit in these so they could do some cooking and some science experiments and whatnot in the kitchen. They also have these in shorter uh, versions. If you'll check in the text below, I'll provide a link for these and the other small stool that I have in case you want to get you some. These are also tall enough that if you want to use them as a TV tray, set so your uh, plate, your beverage, whatever on, um, you can use them as uh, that as well. Thanks for watching my video. If you have time before you go, watch another video and give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment in below. Until we meet next time, let's just keep each other comfortable. Thank you. Bye.